I can't believe it. Almost four years, almost 300,000 subs, and it all started with this. One game with an amazing roster. Characters from franchises we couldn't even believe. This game made the stupid Newgrounds animations a reality. My channel has only gotten to where it is because of this game. I've gotten so many opportunities, gotten the chance to meet so many people because of Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. And I don't even like it. I found you, faker. How'd you know my feelings? There's no surprises. <laughs> Okay, listen. I've wanted to do a review of this game since it came out, but then after all the hype died down, I was like, eh, there's no point. But with the new Smash Brothers coming out, I think it's high time for me to talk about why I don't like this game. I really don't like this game. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, in one word, is underwhelming. I know what you're thinking. I'm paying for this game, it's pretty good. Like, all the newcomers were just dream characters that we finally saw realize. I look at this roster, I'm like, hey, it's my boy! Hey, it's my boy! But they aren't just here. The newcomers they picked were implemented so well and represent their games perfectly. The design of each of these characters represent their titles so adequately, and they all bring something new to the Smash Ross. <sighs> Listen, the only thing that should have two pits are your arms, okay? Yes, I know I make the joke often, but aside from these oddballs, this roster delivered extremely well. The characters, the diversity, is just... Honestly, the strongest part of this game is the presentation between the stages, the music, the characters, all of these choices were just nice. Everything is just great. It comes to life and feels very Nintendo, and I'm glad we stayed away from this realistic, gritty style of brawl. I mean, sure, for some characters like Snake, it makes sense, but having him fight alongside Mario... Snake says swear words, but what else does this game have? It has so many modes! A great stage builder, an online mode that functioned, but, but, ever since this game released, I just felt nothing playing it. I know you may be thinking, you did, you did a whole series on this game. On the surface, this game is beautiful. The characters, designs, the stages, the roster, but if any of my past relationships are a thing to tell, uh, when you take a little deeper, there's not much there. Any Smash Bros is fun because you can sit down with a bunch of friends and just play. This is where the game is its best. I've had so many hours of fun playing 8 player Smash with a huge group of people. But okay, yeah, great, but what else? Variety is the spice of life here, you know? Oh, here's my box full of good points, so... Oof. Left them in my other pants, I guess. Look, if you're trying to find a worthy single player experience from this game, I am not happy to report that this... If, if this is what it means to be single. Fuck! Honestly, it's just quantity over quality. Classic mode. It just feels like a bunch of... Multi-man mini! All-star mode. Now you have so many characters, so the mode is super long, and all of the matches feel like... Multi-man mini! Event matches. These actually have some of the more interesting battles in them. Some of them kind of get repetitive, and a lot of them feel like... Multi-man mini! And then special orders, the master orders, crazy orders. It actually has some cool ideas, and I would think... Multi-man mini! And then what else? Stadium? We had this in all the other Smash games. Arguably, that were better. <sighs> you know, none of these modes offer up anything that's all that different. I can show you footage from each of them, and it feels like, you know, Groundhog Day. Like, did I do this already? It's like, at best, these modes were okay, but at their worst, and excuse me, pardon me, why did you change Break the Targets to Angry Birds? They messed up modes from the other Smash games that they didn't need to be changed, but let's change them and make them worse. And this guy. Look, you know, I don't just want to rip on it. I want to actually explain why I don't like this young boy. If it was designed well, I mean, case closed. If I could go in and say, hey, what'd it do? How do I play? And you know, understand what the hell is happening. But I've looked at other reviews, I've looked online, and the general consensus is... <laughs> Apparently there is structure. You fight someone if you run into them on the board. You collect characters and items and then fight with them at the end. A cool idea. It's just needlessly complicated. Do, do I go to Mario Party 5 to play Card Party? No. Yes. Hey! <laughs>
and this is the main mode of this game. This Costco free sample size of a mode is the main mode in this game. Not to mention how soulless the presentation of this mode is. It doesn't even look like it's Smash. It reminds me of those 90s board games that look like they were made in MS Paint. It's got these garbage ass geometric people. But now I pose a hypothetical. Let's say I had fun with a lot of these modes, let's say maybe one or two of them and I wanted to play through all of them with all the characters. What would I get that would really be a return of investment? Unless you're trying to complete everything with every character because that's who you are, you know, go for it, fine. But there are no rewards for doing so. Sure, you get things like your global smash power, you get custom moves, and you get trophies and coins. Wow. Do you ever like win something and feel offended? I, for one, like working to unlock things, you know, reaping the rewards as they say. But in this game, it's just a bunch of useless shit. You know those subscription boxes where you like pay for a month and you usually like use one thing out of the box and the rest is trash? Yeah, this is a game. I think the only point you could bring up is that you have to unlock some of the characters in this game. And I, I do this hand thing because it's like an afternoon of work. You just go and you get them and then you have them on the roster. And of all the characters they chose, yeah. Wario? Really? Melee had classic and adventure, and those were fun modes. Adventure was kind of long, so it actually felt like when you got to the end, you deserved some sort of reward like a character. And in this game, you could unlock event matches and stages, and it felt slow, but at least you saw the fruits of your labor. Brawl, on the other hand, had the adventure mode, where once you completed it, you had basically the whole roster save for three weirdos. Then there's Smash 4. I mean, you collect like under 10 characters through several modes that you can do very quickly. And then anything else is just custom moves and trophies. And you may be saying that other fighting games have all the characters available from the start as well. Yeah, because those are fighting games. I only bring this up because everything about this game comes back to Sakurai not making a competitive fighter. So it's platform fighter roots ruin the 1v1 experience. To me. I will I will emphasize that. It's for me. This Smash game is often cited as one of the most balanced. But the only reason I think that is, is because all characters on the roster lack any really powerful tools. To me, what it looks like is none of these characters are anything remarkable, it's just they're all equally bad. Alright, oh, yeah, right, okay, Bayonetta, hilarious. But I'm actually gonna defend her. The only reason she's as good as she is is because the design of her character takes from her main series, which is combo-based. Then in retrospect, they're like, oh yeah, that might be a problem because nobody's moves have hit stun in this game. It's because Smash 4's engine is so unsatisfying and so unrewarding that she's a good character. But, to me, there's something inherently weird when it comes to the combat here. Yeah, I know this review started in a place of... Yeah, that's kind of objective, I can kind of see where he's coming from, too. What? Hey, you guys are watching Bird Up! Maybe it's the sound effects, maybe it's the visual effects, but... In this game, when you hit someone hard, it just doesn't feel like it. I don't get the satisfaction. Yeah. You know, in Melee, you go so far down that you go up. It just feels like mm. I just get bored because landing a hit is just about the end of your exchange. And I didn't even mention Rage or the new ledge mechanics. Here is my problem with them. Where in Smash Bros are you your weakest? When you're off stage or you're at high percent. This is what you're working towards in Smash Bros combat. But hey, you know, let's just make them safe in both of these situations. High percent, that makes you stronger! Oh, and if you're off the stage, let's just get you right back on there, young man. Is this the Canada of fighting games? In this game, there are just so many contributing factors that make me think, why would I bother learning something so inconsistent? If it's this unsatisfying 1v1, I may as well play it where it is fun in 8-player Smash with items. That was the point, wasn't it? Yes, I'm still alive. So, let's tally up my feelings for this game. Meh. Meh. No. Half of Brawl stages, the music was great, meh, and the characters are great. I give this game a Smash 4 out of 10. Super Smash Bros for not me or you. Said Daru, jump 
Hamilton, yes, Angel Palomero's case, Ben Square, Tenderoni, the painter, Jet and Bobby Lopez, and star, Brendan Lewis, Kassar, Ethan Evans, Red Hat, Dylan Gumbillet, Stephen Temple, the Camel, Scott Brown, Silva Bob, Richard Catoto, Taylor Wallerstein, Ford Superintendent, Riyaki, Kami Min, Kieran Ward, David Blublitsky. Ryan Monsieur and Alpha Rad and my sister Chloe. Evan Pate, Emmanuel, and Firelight Bud, Shay and Will, Karen, Mother Stars, Graham, CM, Dan Nizu, P. Camo, Smooth Blast, Duke Dustin, Susie, Keep Keep, Philip Guy Blinger, Eric White, Nathan Carter, Jesse Thompson, Jeep Gaming, Priscilla Cardozo, Len McCallum, Matthew Dobbins, Kazuki, Jeff Marlowe, Wowzers, Ferretti, Proud Penguin, Salty, Evil Eye, Quinton Salamone. Nathan, Brian, Carter, Brady, Chardair, Nerve, Beyond, Carson, Thor's Burn, Zachary, Young, Saint Fed, or Rusek, Cody, Ladwell, Obliquid, Fusion Warrior, Mosher, Grady, Perrin, Sean Gearhart, Not Human, Deep Dark Dad, James Sir, 445, Roth, 05, Chad, Sorin, Jason, Celadon, $99 Man, Afro Fluff, Dad, Koopa, Killabay, Miko, Lightning Storm, Guile, Nichols, Bobby, Cry, Zero, Daddy, DeVito, Liam Tamani, Liam Wheeler, Donna, DJ, Kushler, Jr. Michael George, Michael Wheeler, Joseph Styles, Joseph Mayo, Wheeler, holy shit, it's Bo's and that guy in the store.